Hi, this is Salman Alana and Manos Berlakis, and this is case 209 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating the side-based technique for treating a CTO with an ambiguous proximal cap. The patient presented with an acute MI due to a lesion in the obtuse marginal that was successfully treated, but was also found to have a CTO of the LAD and was subsequently referred for recanalizing the LAD CTO, both to improve symptoms but also for complete revascularization. Dual angiography shows the CTO of the LAD. There is an ambiguous proximal cap uh, close to the takeoff of a septal branch. The same we can see here on the iliocranial view. And there are both septal as well as epicardial collaterals filling the LAD. This is the epicardial collateral. This is from the diagonal branch that goes all the way to the apex and then uh, fills the LED retrogradely. So what we have here is a CTO of the LED with ambiguous proximal cap. The length appears to be short, about 20 millimeters or so. The distal vessel is small and diffusely diseased. And there are both some septal collaterals coming from the right. And also there is an epicardial collateral from the diagonal that is filling the distal LED. Based on this, our plan was to try first undergrade uh, wiring using IVUS guidance, second retrograde through septals, third ADR, and then uh, doing an attempt for retrograde through epicardial collaterals. And this is the CTO global algorithm. This is uh, the algorithm for proximal cap ambiguity. And there are three techniques that can be used. One is the move the cap technique, which is dissection proximal to the area of ambiguity, following the course of the vessel. The other one is to use IVUS if there is a side branch next to the proximal cap. And the third one is to use the retrograde approach as long as there is a retrograde option. There's a collateral or bypass graph that can be used for the retrograde approach. So in this case, uh, we did intravascular ultrasound after putting a wire into this um, second septal branch. And uh, as the IVUS is coming back, uh, we can see that there is uh, uh, the vessel coming here. So this is the LAD chronic total occlusion right over here. So that helps identify the location of the proximal cap. And then based on this, uh, we try to puncture the proximal cap we can see that the wire seems to be going into the right place. This was a Gaia next to wire. But uh, on uh, ipsilateral injection, we actually see that the wire is not inside. It's actually not dancing. The wire is not dancing together with the vessel. So we're in a different space here. We tried to knuckle the wire to advance it, but that didn't work. And then we did uh, the Carlino technique. We injected a little contrast to the microcatheter. And we see here we have some staining. This looks like a perforation. So we decided to occlude this with a small balloon. The nice thing is that the contrast is not rapidly dissipating. So that may also be a contained uh, dissection. So we used a small balloon. The patient was doing, was doing fine. We did an echo. There was no effusion. What to do next, uh, we decided to go through retrograde, left uh, um, a balloon initially up for a few minutes, and then tried to go retrograde through the PDA. There's this septal collateral. But uh, despite uh, multiple guide wires, including SU03 and C on black, we were unable to actually enter into that septal branch and wire to the LAD. We then deba debated about ADR versus retrograde through the epicardial. Uh, given that area of staining, we decided to give a brief attempt to the epicardial. So here um, we have some selective contrast injection, and it was just uh, too much tortuosity, too small of a size, so we decided to not uh, um, pursue any further. So we did uh, a brief attempt, and then we went back. So here we are, retrograde has failed. In the meantime, we do have a sealing of that area of... Um, contain perforation from before. So what to do next? The option that we have left is to use the move the cap techniques, essentially do a base proximal to this um, septal branch. 
There's a technique that's called side base in which uh, we create a dissection proximal to the proximal cap of the CTO. And then we insert a balloon that goes partially inside the side branch and partially into the main vessel. And then this balloon traps a microcatheter through which we were able to advance a knuckled guide wire to go into the extra plug space. So this is what we did. This was a 2.5 millimeter balloon into the second septal. And uh, this is a Corsair that is advanced uh, essentially next to this balloon. The balloon is inflated. And then we used a Gladius Mongo guide wire trying to knuckle it and advance it further down. And here we see that the wire eventually does take a knuckle. And now it seems to be taking the band along the course of the vessel. So this is a nice example of... Um, the side base technique we have the balloon inflated halfway into the side branch and halfway into the main vessel the balloon anchors the corsair microcatheter and then the gladius mongo is pushed because of the balloon will have extra support and then this loop eventually finds the extra plug space and seems to advance down the course of the led and this was verified by contralateral injection in contrast to the previous injection, now we do have um, dancing of the undergrade guide wire along with the vessel. We then advanced the stingray balloon um, to the area of re-entry. We did uh, the stick and drive. This is a Gaia X3 that uh, advanced into the distal lumen. And then exchanged it for a workhorse wire, uh, predilated and placed uh, three drag eluting stents that provided a nice result with Timothy flow down there, lady. So multiple lessons from this case. First of all, proximal cap ambiguity can be challenging and can predispose to complications such as perforation if the wire er exits the vessel architecture. Second, we do have three techniques, three major techniques for proximal cap ambiguity. We did try all three of them here. One is the IVUS guided puncture, which here was not successful. Somehow our guide wire, although it seemed to go within the architecture of the vessel, it ended up going outside and causing a small contained perforation. Also tried retrograde that did not work. And then we did use the side base technique in which a balloon was inflated proximal to the branch, but also partially into this second septal branch. And then a knuckled wire was advanced, taking the course of the vessel and facilitating uh, re-entry. Finally, the Carlino technique is useful if we're not exactly sure where we are in the vessel architecture. can help uh, tell us if we are into the extra plug space, but the key part is to use a very small amount of contrast, such as half a mil or so. Thank you. <laughs>